Honestly, it's not, you know, one drop and you're good to go, no. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Oliji here and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be on how to use the La Roche Posay SPF. So this is my current favorite SPF. I've used this SPF for like, I mean, consistently every single day for yes, over a year now. I've tried a couple of SPFs in the past and I've done a review on some SPFs. I'll be sure to link everything in the description box below. So do check them out. But out of the bunch, this has to be my all time favorite, honestly, because first of all, it's non greasy. It doesn't leave a white cast because the problem we all have with SPFs is that just that annoying white cast it leaves. And especially on people of color like me, I'm really, really dark skin. And you know, SPFs tend to be quite ashy and very annoying so that's why a lot of people stay away from it and besides people uh, it being ashy another reason people of color especially really dark skin people think that they do not need spf at the end of the day every single person needs spf no matter your skin type your race your skin color we all need spf because what the sun does to the skin i mean when you're young you won't really see the effects beside the sunburn and all that until you start to get old um, i mean i'm not saying that the sun is bad but the radiation the sun gives off can be quite harmful if you don't protect your skin. The radiation can potentially cause skin cancer on a lot of people and it can cause aging. Then it helps, I mean, free radicals and all that. So it is very harmful to our skin. And come on, who wants to, you know, look older than your regular age so that's why we all need our spf so if you're out there and you think you don't need spf and you're dark skinned like me or not as dark as me but just think generally you do not need spf you need spf having more melanin is actually a plus because it further helps to you know shield you from the sun but you still need that extra protection and so if you're out there using really expensive products or nice skincare products and you do not use your spf come on it's First of all, you are causing your skin more harm than good because most of these good products, especially our acids, retinols, can cause the skin to be photosensitive. Photosensitivity means like you are more prone to sunburn, to sun damage. So you see why you really need your sunscreen. So if you're using all these products, maybe say you want to treat hyperpigmentation and you're using your inhibitors and all that and acids or you're doing your pills and you're not wearing sunscreen you're causing your skin more harm than good so you don't you do not joke with your sunscreen so how you want to use your sunscreen is that you want to use it generously honestly it's not you know not one drop and you're good to go no you use it generously so what you want to do is you want to put it on your fingers like this if you're not sure of the measurement to use i don't really do this but it's just to show you how much you need on your three fingers like this and you're good to go i can't oops i'm losing some i don't really want to you know bend a lot but this is basically you know something like this you have it then you want to apply on your face and normally the three fingers i just put it on is just on my face to be honest because i have another sunscreen that i use on my my body so in this video i'm going to just use this on my face like this you see it's already sort of disappearing so you want to apply this push this into the skin cover every area not forgetting your ears as well i'm not going to apply it on my ears because they cover that this bit can you see how it is already disappearing into the skin that is why i absolutely love this sunscreen it doesn't leave that white cast because i know that it can be quite annoying leaving the white cast it is non-greasy as well like it goes on well even if when you want to wear your makeup you just put it on like i mean do this wear your primer and put it on your makeup no one would even know you have sunscreen on if you're not wearing makeup if you wear your face like this come on does it look like i have sunscreen on no i'm not looking ashy i'm not looking great and to be honest <laughs> what i used in my opinion is okay but i like to be very generous because what the sun has like did to me over the years like now that i've been using sunscreen i'm seeing i've seen a lot of difference but i used to have this very hideous black natural contour here and it was as a result of sun and a lot of people out there do not know this have pigmentation due to sun exposure which and it normally comes around this area and it's usually found in people of color so you'd see you notice this area is really dark or you have that natural contour i call it natural contour but you have this area really dark it is as a result of um sun exposure so that is one of the reasons if not for anything this is one of the reasons you have to wear your you know sunscreen the sun 
definitely does age but we do not know don't get me wrong the sun has its benefits with the vitamin d and all that stuff but at the end of the day you want the to get the good bit and then to keep the not so good bit away if you have to go out on a very sunny day be sure to if it's maybe put on a heart or be in a shady place especially between the maybe say like 12 noon to 3 that's when the sun is really out there and shining on us and you know that's sun can really burn you if you expose yourself too much and yes for the body as well you do not neglect your body especially if you're going on holiday or if you're in the tropics or where you know you have to expose yourself just like i my body is normally i have the sunscreen that is specially for my body this one i cannot afford to use it all over my entire body i use this specifically on my face i have used a sunscreen in the past that the moment i used it i broke out like when i mean break out like i had allergic reaction my face i thought i had measles it was really nasty but um i think with in a couple of days it um, went down i just like you know this is staying away from my face i'm not going to use it so and another th good thing about this is that most times it's always on sale or discounted i know it's you can get it for about 18 pounds but sometimes you can get it for like 14 pounds but and i always chatter it and i just totally love this spf i i have tried a couple of spfs out there and Either I find them maybe too greasy, too ashy, and that's not my thing, especially as I am really dark skinned. I don't want any ashy or greasy thing. But come on, can you see my skin? I don't look greasy at all. I don't look ashy. You wouldn't even know I have SPF on. And yeah, so if you are really exposed, like under the sun for quite a while, you can reapply this, especially if maybe you've gone for a swim or something and you're outdoors, maybe at the beach or something. Rinse off your body, reapply this, and minimize your you know sun exposure at the end of the day this can only protect you to a certain extent when you're doing all them pills chemical pills or using acids the acids are so good they're my friends and love all that if you're using stuff like that that's do not joke with your spf use your spf every single day even when it's raining when you're not going out wear your spf as long as you can see a window and the window is open wear your spf as long as you can see the clouds wear the spf even if on a gloomy day dull day be sure to wear your spf every single day if you do that you would certainly notice a huge difference especially if you're battling um you know pigmentation so, so with all that being said i've come to the end of today's video um have you tried this out what spfs are you using out there if you're really dark skinned just like me or you're dark skinned let me know your favorite spf that is non-greasy that you'll be like oh my goodness it's so good i'll be more than happy to give it a shot and also to you know let you guys let other people know on my channel you know what other spfs to try out if they're unable to get their hands on this so with all that being said I'm going to have to end this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.